Hi everyone, my name is Tara and I'm with Amicus Creations. This video today is going to be how to make cornhole legs and the video audience is for absolute beginners that have are, uh, never made legs or are probably struggling to make some. It's a very simple way of using pine instead of the plywood, so I hope that you enjoy. To get it started, you're gonna need some materials. Everything pictured here is 3 8 inch. You're gonna want four regular hex nuts, four lock nuts, three inch carriage bolts, 12 washers, a ratchet wrench, and something straight, like a ruler. Uh, we use the combination square to make sure that everything is in place. You also don't need a fancy workshop. As you can see, this is my dining room table. For your legs, you're gonna want four, obviously. These ones are one and a quarter square. Normally, we have them at one and a half, so you can easily use two by two to do this project but you wanna make sure that they're smooth and that there's nothing sticking out or poking. The placement of your carriage bolts is very important to make sure that you have smooth functions. For ours, the hole is 3 8 inches from the, where the, your deck would be and then one and a quarter inches from the top of your frame. You might notice here that we have an additional piece of plywood on the top to give a little bit more support to our frame. If you're not using this, just make sure that you're measuring from the top of your frame. And that is from the inside of the frame, not from the outside. When you put your carriage bolt into the frame, make sure to use the ratchet and the non-locking hex nuts to tighten in the carriage bolts. Do not use a hammer because it will ruin your frame. Now on the legs, you're gonna to wanna to measure a half an inch down and then find the center of the width. This is where we're going to drill our hole and it's important that that hole is straight. So if you have a drill press, that's preferred, but if you only have a drill, you're gonna to wanna to keep that as straight as possible. Now that you have your hole, you're gonna to wanna to round over the edges. You can do this on your chop saw or you can do what I do and use a little Carmex bottle and just trace it around. Then I move it over to my belt sander that I have upside down and I round over the edges and then they start looking very pretty and it doesn't have to be pretty. It just needs to make sure that there's nothing sticking out that's gonna get caught on your board. When you're first starting out, you might have a little warp to your frame or your decks and that's normal, but you'll get over that. What you want to do is label your legs so that when you do cut them, if they're different lengths, you can make sure that they're in the appropriate spot. I do one L and one R, and I do two L and two R. Put two washers against the frame, put your leg on, and then add one more washer, and then put on your regular hex nuts. You wanna make sure that nothing is catching on the frame and that it's hitting the back of the board appropriately. Go ahead and tighten it, but not too tight. You don't need a fancy jig to figure out the angle. I have a clamp on the back to stop the board from sliding off the table. And this is a, a jig that I have. It's a very, very simple jig to make and it holds the board up and I can move it so that I can adjust the height of the back of the frame. You wanna make sure that the top of your deck is 12 inches from your surface. My jig is eight inches tall and it's very simple. It just fits on the inside. And like I said, it is nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. If I'm making more than one, I can mark on the board where that one was. And theoretically the next one should fit perfectly. Once the top of the deck is at 12 inches on both sides, use your ruler and mark on the legs where that mark is. Make sure that the legs are pulled out all of the way. Take your legs to your saw and adjust the angle appropriately. One of the reasons why we do 15 inches on our legs is that we have a little room to work with. If you're just beginning, you're going to want this extra room to figure out your angles. That's it. Go ahead and put the legs back on the boards. And then this time, once you put your washer on, you're going to use the lock nuts instead of the regular hex nuts. That's going to stop it from loosening. When you tighten up the legs, make sure that it's easy enough to move. You can also put a cross base across your legs if you want to make it a little easier to open and close. However, my personal boards, we don't do this because we camp a lot and that's why we have them. So we're on very rugged ground and we like the ability to kind of move one leg out a little bit further than the other. So we like that flexibility. But if you want that cross brace, it's perfectly fine to do that.